first thing I do is I organize by color and then order. So on the top, I have these two green tracks. One is my mix print track where I go out through all my gear and come back in, record into Pro Tools. And that's the mix you'll see here. So track number two is the mix auxiliary track. And this routes back to the mix print where the final mix is recorded and it allows me to do some mix bus processing here. Moving down, all the tracks in yellow are my VCAs where I can do macro controls. These guys in blue are my sidechain processors. Then below the sidechain processors in red are all my aux submasters. It's a couple of effects. And I usually put the drums and percussion on the top, then the basses, then the electric guitars, acoustic guitars, and then whatever effects pertain to those. Then keyboards, AP electric piano, B3s, organ, and maybe effects that pertain to that. And then I'll have my buses for lead vocals and for background vocals. This song's a, basically a two vocalist band duet. So one is lead vocal B and lead vocal J for Bridget and Jose. And background vocals are all the background vocals are bus too. Then I'll have individual channels for each piece that was recorded. So these are kick in and out mics, a kick sample, an ambient kick sample. Then we have the same thing happening with, with the snares and we'll go into these in depth. Tom Tom's Ambience is a room mics, overhead mics, hat. Then we have our percussion, stick tambourine, snaps, uh, shake and tambourine, shaker. And then our bass, DI, and different amps. Acoustic guitars, electric guitars, and purple. Lighter colors, if they're less distorted, darker if they're more distorted. Keyboards in yellow, and all my vocals are in green. And then the rest of my effects, blue shade, and dirt down at the bottom. So I know where everything is in every session based on the order they're put in, and then also based on the color. So it's way easy for me to find, especially in a session that has a lot of tracks. Moving on, let's talk about our routing to print and mix bus processing. All of my AUX submasters feed out to my Dangerous Music 2Bus LT summing mixer. So the Dangerous Summing Mixer brings in 32 channels from my Lynx Aurora converters, which I have four of. Two of them handle 32 outputs going into the Summing Mixer, and the other ones handle all the analog inserts. From the outputs of my AUX Submasters, I feed 32 channels into my Dangerous Music Summing Mixers, going through two Lynx Auroras. From the output of the Dangerous Summing Mixer, I feed the input of my Burl Bomber, which is taking the analog signal and then converting it back to digital and printing it to Pro Tools. So here's the Dangerous Convert 2, which lets me convert the digital signal back to analog so I can monitor with the cleanest, most accurate possible signal. And then I'm also going through my ATC monitors. So that was Anatomy of a Mix Part 2. Let It Go by Cumberland Road. Hope you enjoyed this. We have many more coming. So please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can let you know when there's more content. And if you have any comments, let us know. There'll be a link to this song, this uh, Reverb Nation page for this band. And eventually these songs are not released yet on Spotify and Apple Music, but they will be in the next month or two. So we'll keep you posted on that. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed it.